Hello, my name is Will, but people call me Kid Philly. As a people, we've come a long way. Some examples we can see in this world is uh, like the pyramids, Great Wall of China, Panama Canal, even the Coliseum. This is some examples in the last couple of millenniums, but even in the last 50 years, We've done great things like we've gone to the moon. We've had great advances in uh, the medical where we have vaccines and x-rays. Uh, things we've done in electricity such as solar and wind and nuclear power generation. Even advances in communi communications and technology. Uh, the use of computers and the internet and smartphones to the use of satellites. And those are great examples, but where have we gone as a people, socially and morally? A lot of great examples of things we've done with math and science to accomplish certain goals, but what examples do we have to live a life that encourages other people to be the best that we can be and encourage ourselves? Three good examples are like Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa, and of course, Jesus Christ. We live in a time that offers so much, but people still feel very empty no matter how much they have, what they've accomplished. And remarkably, with all the great technology that we have nowadays in communication, it actually makes it easier for people to isolate themselves and create this guarded, perfect image of themselves of which they show to the world. And that's not good because when people guard themselves, they, they guard their heart. And when they guard their heart, they guard themselves of the responsibility and accountability to the community that they belong to just inherently by existing. So me believing this, and what am I gonna do? I've got an idea. I wanna start my heart campaign that I wanna dedicate the rest of my life to. And it has a purpose, and that purpose is as follows. To educate each other through the sharing of information. To encourage people, others, to apply that education to accomplish worthwhile goals through hard work. Then to share those new experiences of what we learn and apply in such a way that we can laugh, understand, and relate to each other. To realize God's full potential for our lives. Now that sounds great, but getting a little more specific, education. We live in the, one of the most historical cities in the United States, in Philadelphia. Why not learn about that history and see where we came from to understand where we are now and where we expect on going in the future? Hard work. One of the great examples that I'm going to use is landscaping, where we get to have a plan on what we think the world is what it's made of, then get our hands dirty and really learn. And then comedy. <laughs> I love to laugh. I really do. There's a lot of great experiences and it helps for me to not take myself so serious, but at the same time, to talk about serious things. And comedy can be other things too. Really, it's a basic idea of how do we share our hearts with each other. And it can be through comedy, it can be through music, art, whatever it might be. But all those ideas umbrellaed underneath the idea that God loves all of us. And He cares about all of us, but He wants us to really depend on Him. Because we can do all those things, education, hard work, and, and try to share with each other. 
when we add God in the equation, it brings it to a whole nother level that we a lot of times just don't understand. So that's my idea, that's my plan. This is what I want to do. My name is Will, and they call me Kid Philly. And I want to invite you, I don't care who you are, I don't care how old you are, I don't care what race you are, what your background, what you've done before, but I want to invite you to become part of this family that moves forward and cares about each other and wants to do the best for each other so tomorrow can be better than today and what was ever from before. Thank you for your time and looking forward to seeing you in the future. Have a good day. God bless.